Hello everyone, welcome back to Soul Food. I am so happy that you are here because today we are making mine and my family's favorite Christmas morning treat, sticky buns. Oh yes, I've been making this recipe since I was in high school. It's a recipe that I've adapted um, and made tweaks and changes over the years. And today I'm so happy to share it with you because it is ooey, gooey, sticky, delicious, and about half the work. Are you ready? Let's go. Let's get right into making these easy and delicious sticky buns. We're starting right on with the filling. And I've got a quarter cup each of brown sugar and uh, granulated white sugar. And then I added in a tablespoon of ground cinnamon and a quarter teaspoon of allspice. And there in the corner, I've got one third of a cup of butter that I'm gonna pop into the microwave and melt. And the other part of our filling is one apple. I'm using a Honeycrisp apple. You can use any type that you have. You're just gonna wanna peel it and dice it. So go, to, go ahead and mix up the filling and then we'll set everything to the side while we make the sauce. So here in a small saucepan, I've got one cup of brown sugar, a quarter cup of heavy cream, and one stick of butter or a half a cup. And you're just gonna wanna set it on medium low for a few minutes just until the butter melts. You don't wanna go any further than that. So once it cooled a little bit, I added in a teaspoon of vanilla extract, and we're just gonna set that aside to cool and you should end up with a very uh, smooth caramel-like sauce. So here is the star of the show, the store-bought pizza dough. Oh yes. We do not have time in 2021 to be making our own dough, although you're welcome to do that. So I will leave the full recipe that I've adapted down below, but I've found that this is so much easier and I end up with an end product that is just as delicious and we save more than half the time. So this is the most tedious part of the whole process is just rolling it out into 15 long ways by nine inches um, heading up approximately in size and once you achieve that you're just gonna go ahead and spread all of that um, butter that we had melted earlier and then go ahead in with your one apple that's been diced followed by the brown sugar cinnamon um, mixture just gonna want to evenly sprinkle that over Once that's done, you're gonna wanna tuck and roll your sticky bun dough, uh, making sure that the filling is staying in and everything is not too tight, but uh, taut enough, just like this. Just going little at a time, tucking and rolling. And once that's done, you're gonna go ahead and use a sharp knife to cut your roll into between 14 and 16 slices. I ended up with 14 for mine, and you're gonna wanna try to cut them as evenly as uh, you can. I was not so successful at this, but it's just fine. Um, the final product will end up just as delicious. Next, go ahead and you're gonna wanna use a nine by 13 pan. I'm using the a disposable aluminum kind. You wanna butter it up really well um, so nothing sticks. And then go ahead and pour in that delicious caramel-like sauce. And I went ahead with one cup of chopped pecans. This is optional, but I love the crunch that it gave to the final sticky buns. All that's left to do is just arrange the sticky buns um, into rows. Uh, don't be alarmed by the amount of space between the sticky buns. I did about a half an inch in between them. They're absolutely gonna spread out once they're in the oven and fill up all, all those gaps. So what I did was I covered my sticky buns and I let them rest for about 30 minutes. They're not gonna rise too much just due to the pizza dough, um, but they will rise and spread out in the oven. So I went ahead and covered them, left them for 30 minutes, got the oven preheated to 350 degrees. Then 
I um, bake them for 30 minutes covered with foil. Here they are out of the oven for that 30 minutes. Uh, for the last 10 minutes, you're gonna uncover it and then just let it bake. And here they are, the final product. So if you're gonna wanna let it rest on your countertop for just about five to 10 minutes, no longer than that, because you don't want the caramel to set too much. Then for the most nerve wracking part, flipping it onto a tray that's large enough and you are gonna have a little bit of sauce that comes out. And look at this. These sticky buns are sure to be a crowd pleaser and definitely one of our holiday favorites. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Let me know in the comments down below if you decide to try this one out and what you thought. Happy holidays and I'll see you in the next one.